Hello everybody, I am Matt's Video Productions, and welcome back to another video. I'll keep this intro short and quick. Only 1% of my subscribers actually watch my videos on YouTube, so if you like what you see, subscribe and turn notifications on. Anyways, as you can see, uh, Minecraft today is looking rather beautiful. Just look at these uh, intense, beautiful reflections all up on this nether gold ore, you know? This is, this is some fancy stuff. We can also see the beautiful reflections happening on this emerald block, iron block, diamond ore, gold ore. And you can see that this glowstone is rather bumpy, and this bookshelf has books that kind of pop out on the side. Now, believe it or not, today I'm going to show you guys how to make this exact setup run really well on your own toaster. Your own little, uh, Intel HD graphics little PC that barely runs Minecraft as it is. And I will be using a real example in this video. This is just for the intro. And let's get right into making a beautiful Minecraft run on your toaster oven. Welcome, everybody, to the Surface Book. It sports Intel HD 620 graphics, so it's not that great. It's probably very similar to a lot of what you laptop users at home might have in your systems. And I know that the recording system used here is very rudimentary, but I think you guys are going to appreciate uh, how legit I'm trying to make this setup here. I'm, I'm not just going to give you the options on my desktop. I'm going to prove it to you guys that I can run these shaders on this toaster potato PC. So if we are using a laptop, obviously we are going to want to free up as much performance as possible. So we're going to go down here and make sure that we're on best performance. We can also hold down the Windows key and press X and go down to the task manager and check out what's running in the background and taking up our data. Spotify seems to be open. It doesn't seem to be using much, but I'll end it anyways. Now we're also going to want to go to our Windows settings here, so we're just going to hit the Windows key and type settings in and go to settings. And then we're going to type game here and then go to game mode settings and make sure game mode is on. Now that that is done, we can go ahead and install Minecraft Optifine so we can install shaders. I have a whole bunch of tutorials on this channel about installing shaders and Optifine. So I'll link the uh, latest version of my Optifine tutorial and the latest version of my shaders tutorial down in the description. Those will cover all your needs here. Okay, so our first download is going to be BSL shaders. Now, these shaders are actually known to be a pretty resource intensive, but we're going to be heavily modifying these shaders in the settings to give us the best performance possible with the best looking shaders possible. So here we are on the BSL page. I'm just going to go over here and click download. As you can see, it is now downloading BSL shaders. So I'll bring these BSL shaders out here for now. And I'm also going to download a Minecraft texture pack. These shaders are known as Vanilla PBR shaders. You can find them on the same page as the BSL shaders on CurseForge. I'll link both of them down in the description for you guys. I will download these and also just drag them to my desktop. So now exiting out of my two downloads, I can now go into my Minecraft launcher and go find my Optifine installation here. So now I'll hit play to run Optifine Minecraft, which is going to let us install shaders and of course make Minecraft run better. So here we are in Minecraft. As you can see, Optifine is definitely installed here. We'll go to shaders, go to our shaders folder. And I'm going to drag those BSL shaders right into my shaders folder. I'll go back into my .minecraft here, go to resource packs, and also install the vanilla PBR shaders. And I can now exit out of this folder. Opening up back into Minecraft, as you can see here are the BSL shaders. I'll click those. So now those are ready to go. And if I go back into resource packs, we can see vanilla PBR is also here. I'll enable those and click done. All right, let's load up into a world and see where we're at with just default everything. Oh, okay, as you can see, we're loaded into the game and it is running like absolute garbage right now. This is to be expected. This is all on default settings. We're gonna make this run a lot better. I can go in here and change some of Minecraft settings. Since we're running shaders, we can just turn smooth lighting off completely off we don't need those in details we can turn the clouds too fast trees we can turn on fast if we want or maybe smart shaders are going to remove our fogs so we can just turn it completely off alternate blocks we're going to turn off 
All right, I'm gonna click out of details. In animations, we can change all of these if we want, turn them all off or on, or we could just turn the particles down to minimal like I do and click done. Over here, I'm gonna go up to quality. I turned my connected textures off. All right, we're done with the quality, moving into performance. Since we're using an integrated graphics card, we're not gonna turn render regions on, but if you're playing on like a legit PC, you can definitely turn this on. Smart animations is going on, smooth FPS, FPS is going on, lazy chunk loading is going on, fast render is going on, fast math is going on, smooth world is going on, and dynamic updates is going on. And we'll click done out of that. As you can see, maybe we've gained some performance so far uh, by enabling those options, but I'm going to show you where we can uh, where we can really achieve some better FPS. We're going to go down into options again, video settings, go into shaders, we're going to turn the shadow quality down to 0.6. The render quality, we're also gonna turn down. Again, keep in mind that you have to click through these ones to uh, get them to change. I'm gonna turn the render quality down to 0.75 for now. I might lower that in the future. Now we can click down here into shader options. As you can see, we have the profile set to high. We don't want that. We're gonna go all the way to low profile for now. We'll click done just to enable it. Go back into the shader options. And now we're gonna go into visual here. We're gonna turn desaturation off. We're gonna turn advanced materials on. This is gonna give us all of those uh, little bumps on all the blocks and such. Then we're gonna click advanced materials config. We're gonna turn our parallax depth all the way down to 0.25 and our parallax quality all the way down to 16. And that is all we will do for this option. All right, now we're gonna go into the sky setting. We're gonna turn clouds off, and I actually turned Aurora on because I think it looks super cool. And we're gonna turn sky desaturation off. I usually like to bring the skybox brightness down a little bit too. We're now gonna go into waving objects here, and you can turn off whatever waving objects you wanna turn off. I like all of them on though. Now we're gonna go up to post process. We're gonna go to lens flare and turn that off. Anti-aliasing and turn this off. And then we can click done. We can go into water next and click parallax off then click done. Now we can go into world and we can click fog off and then click done. Now if we exit back into our game here, you can see that our shaders are running much, much smoother. Definitely at playable frame rates on here. And as you can see, they're still looking absolutely drop dead, beautiful and gorgeous running on this little toaster. And as you can see, uh, we can see little bumps sort of on all of the blocks. And if this is still too much lag for you guys, we can go here into options, go to video settings and turn our render distance down as much as we can while still having it playable. So maybe five chunks or so and we can actually cap our frame rate down to 30 FPS, which will make it much more stable. We even still have beautiful, beautiful water in here. And again, if you still need more performance than that, we can go to options, video settings, shaders, and turn this render quality down even more. I've had, I have mine all the way down to 0.5 now. And as you can see, this definitely gives you a large boost in performance. Probably one of the best settings to change for this. As you can see, guys, I'm gonna show you some proof right now. And as you can see, if I place it down here, we have legit reflections right off of the, uh, the block here. The glowstone is all bumpy, just like we saw earlier in the video, and it's reflecting off of the emerald right here. If we go to the diamond, it is the same situation here. Look at how awesome those reflections are running on this potato PC. It's really cool to see. And with the nether gold ore, as well as you can see, it's very bumpy and cool looking, and it's all reflective like we saw earlier in the video. And as you guys can see this entire time, this was being recorded on, I mean, essentially what is a toaster or a potato or a crouton or something not very powerful. Well, I hope this helped everybody out. I will see you guys in the next one, and goodbye.